The code for the tutorial is available on GitHub. Click on the down arrow where it says code. You can either clone the repository down or download the zip file. If you download the zipped file, save it onto your local storage. You'll need to extract the file and then change the name of the directory so that there are no hyphens in it. At this point, you should delete the hyphen main from the file name before you save it. I'm going to leave it in so that you can see the problem that will occur. After the file has downloaded, go to the location and show in folder. Right click on the zipped file and extract here. Notice that the file name has a hyphen main in it. This will be a problem later. Before you can run the files, you will need to run flutter pub get from the directory that the files are in. With PowerShell open, you can drag and drop the directory path of the file onto PowerShell and then attach CD space in front of it. Once you're in the directory that the files are in, run flutter pub get. Using flutter hyphen hyphen version, verify that you're running flutter 2.8 and dart 215 or higher. You can see the devices you have available to run the flutter application on with flutter devices. If you have not set enable windows desktop, you will not see the windows desktop like it's shown here in this example. However, even though I have the windows devices shown, this Flutter project is not configured to run the Windows desktop by default. Even if you run Flutter run hyphen D Windows for the Windows device, the application will still not run at this point. If you don't see the Windows devices listed, you have to enable the Windows desktop. You can do this with Flutter config. After Flutter config, put a space and then pass some options to it. The option is hyphen hyphen enable hyphen Windows hyphen desktop. Press enter. The Windows desktop device is now enabled, but you still need to create the Windows uh, version of the project for this to actually run on Windows desktop. The command to create the Windows desktop is flutter space create space hyphen hyphen platforms equals Windows space and dot. At this point, we're still going to have a problem because there's a hyphen in the name of the directory and you can't have that in flutter go up one directory and change the name of the directory to something that is using an underscore instead of a hyphen for example a flame underscore tutorial might be a good name once you create it you can now run the create command for the windows desktop version of the application the sequence is flutter space create space hyphen hyphen platforms equals windows space dot. This command actually creates the files that you're going to need to run a windows desktop application. You can now test the code at flutter space run space hyphen d space windows. After the code compiles, you'll have a desktop windows application. This technique is running it in debug mode. It's not appropriate for distribution from the Windows desktop using this technique. This is just to run it locally for local testing. The tutorial series is based on running the Flutter application within an Android mobile emulator. However, if you have problems with the Android mobile emulator, you can run it on Windows desktop. I believe it should be fine. The size may be a little different. The application also does build on the web. So you could test it on within Chrome or Internet Explorer. However, the text is not appearing um, in this demonstration. I'll show you how to enable it for web as we'll likely fix the application uh, in the future. If I type flutter config at the bottom under the settings, enable hyphen web is set to true. So I've already done this step. However, I'll show you uh, how to do it in case you don't have web enabled. It's flutter space config space hyphen hyphen enable hyphen web. If you type in flutter devices, you should see the Chrome and the Internet Explorer if you're on Windows devices listed. To run it on Chrome or a web browser, it's flutter space run hyphen D Chrome. You do need to have Chrome installed. If you run it on the web, it, it does work. The text is not appearing. And I'm not sure if it's a bug in Flame or if I, if I need to rewrite the code. There's different ways to have text on in Flame, so I may change it to another method and see whether it works later. 
in the tutorial series. The primary way to use Flutter is for mobile app development. Uh, you will need to have an, an Android emulator uh, for this tutorial. The easiest way to get an Android virtual device working is to install Android Studio. It's a fairly big install. Uh, and then after you install Android Studio, you will need to create an Android virtual device. If you're not familiar with this step, there's a ton of tutorials out there about how to set up an Android virtual device. And if you're stuck, you can drop a question in the comments. And I can give you some pointers. With the Android device uh, running, you'll, you'll now see the Android emulator. It's an emulator-5554. We'll now run the application on the Android emulator, which is the primary target device for this tutorial series. It should run on Android emulator with no glitches. Many people find it more convenient to run the code from within the editor that you're using to write the code. In this example, we're running VS Code with the Dart and Flutter extensions installed on VS Code. When you just start a VS Code, if it's on a blank uh, window pane on the right-hand side, and then you try to select the device to run it on, even though I can't select it, you won't be able to run it. And that's because you need to actually first select that lib main or a Dart related file before you select run. And then once you select run, it will run the default device. The default device is in the lower right hand portion of VS Code, P4 Android. The circular arrow on the um, that action bar is the hot restart and the lightning bolt is hot reload. If you stop the application on Android, you can select a different device such as Windows and run the Windows application from within the VS Code editor thanks to these great extensions. The application does run on Windows and you could definitely do the tutorial uh, on Windows. Uh, we'll see whether the audio portions work, but again, the target device for the tutorial series is Android. Uh, however, if you can't get it to work on Android, you could uh, use some of the tutorial, at least on, on Windows. If you resize the Windows, the window, it will not resize the game. We don't have this enabled because we're not actually targeting Windows desktop for this tutorial series. If you do a hot restart, it will resize the game, meaning that uh, you could use it. It just won't resize on the fly. There are many other videos in the 2022 Flame Tutorial Series, as well as 26 videos in the 2021 series. Subscribe to the channel for future updates. These videos are on Teachable as a free course. There is no upsell as this is purely a hobby for me. I'm using Teachable only for the progress so you can see how far you have progressed with the course. It also makes it easier for me to organize the videos and the sequence of information that I'm presenting. In whatever way you choose to learn, the most important thing is to keep on trying to learn and have fun while doing it. Have a great day.